All right, guys, going over the final game from tonight. I only got to watch, I believe, the first five minutes of this one. Um, and then I had to roll. You guys did a good job. I watched this game already on and fast forward. This is the game, though, I was referring to, Alex, where uh, you died at Kindred right after he ganked you um, because you don't have vision. And... I know, I know you wanted to try the Ghost Flash in this um, game, which I'm perfectly fine with. Um, it's still more beneficial for the team overall if you do bring Teleport. Um, but if you're in a winning matchup like this, it's perfectly fine to have uh, the TP and not the Ghost. Uh, especially in situations where they're either going to hard camp bottom or top in the early parts of this game, at least I would if I were them, because Echo doesn't really do a lot um, for a few levels, so it's going to be really hard for him to gank. Especially someone like Oriana who can stay relatively safe and has shields and barrier. So, we'll, when we get to that, I'll, I'll point it out. But good job tonight, Central 2, not um, starting on the bottom side as much. Um, we don't have to do it every game, but it's just something that needs to be part of your repertoire where we can have, um, sorry, I want to go back and look at something real fast. So you should, um, sorry, let's slow it down. I'm I'm fairly certain you get level two first here, Alex. This is why I wanted to come back up here. I'm just going to focus on you real fast. You need to be aware of that so you can start walking forward too. So basically, as soon as you kill um, this creep, you should already be walking forward instead of backwards though. Because you should know that he still needs to kill uh, one caster minion before he hits level two. Just looking at the, the lane. So you should instead of hesitating here, you should have been walking forward immediately. I believe he needs one cast. Oh, I'm sorry, that one melee is what I meant. So you you walked forward when he hit level two. You should have had, you had like two or three seconds worth where you could have been advancing and just forced him out of lane already, pretty much. So just remember, always watch your wave, especially when you're the aggressor in a lane. You can take over a lane right away if you get level two first. Oops, sorry. I need to go back to directed now. And this is something that from time to time we'll do too. We actually have teleport in the bot lane. So we need to be aware of that. Especially, excuse me, when it comes to our summoner. So we only have uh, a defensive summon. You guys are a really good job of uh, combining that, uh, your crowd control there. This is where... Uh, you're gonna die right after that gank because you have no vision. You don't have a. Uh, you do have a ward actually right now. I thought you didn't have a ward, but you could have immediately just thrown it in the bush there too. See how you walk back up the lane. Um, fairly certain he does crab, and then this is such a good bait by uh, Mystic. By the way, if you guys didn't see, since he is the heal, he got actual Jin the flash forward on him. It was really fucking sick. But this is where you die, Alex. And you have your trinket sitting in your inventory. Like you know he's on this side of the, the map. So that that death is just a, a, a mental mistake. You should have been taking care of uh, your vision there after he ganked you once. Especially since you don't have teleport this game. You can really be punished and lose an experience when you die. So again, this is a good, really good job by uh, Central coming back here. We know that they don't have flash at all, and you guys are in lane, so the timing of this is perfect. You're just going to chain your crowd control, the slows, everything. And it's a free kill. It's a really good job. We should immediately, uh, at this point, if we can't get onto him, just back up though a little, little quicker. I guess you backed up perfectly fine. I don't, I don't know why I thought you went in and took a turret shot, but that's my mistake. But really good job, Central, coming back, and good job, you guys. Uh, um, 
Jesus, my brain just died. Anyway, moving on. So remember, in this game, too, we need to talk about these marks. So this is really good. We're getting vision. We know where he is. So Central can just go get rid of this mark. Mystic's doing a good job of getting deep vision again. This is just another game where Alex can 1 versus 2. I believe Kendrick tries to come up there at level 5 and he just absolutely shit on. What is this right here, Mystic? Okay. The waves all the way back here. I know you guys are stronger right now, but there's no reason to risk going through this, especially for someone with crowd control. And you know where Kendrick is too. He's on your side of the map. So you'd never run through this way. That's just silly. Like, I know you end up getting a summer out of it, but they have control of the, the, the lane right now because you don't have heal and we don't have another defensive summoner or an offensive summoner. Just got to be safer with that stuff. So again, we're communicating. So this game's different because we're starting on the opposite side of buffs. So second buffs are coming up. We don't have priority uh, in the bot lane, so it's harder for us to invade that. So we should be looking to... Uh, we should start talking about invading for their their second red buff in this situation because we have priority in uh, top lane and or uh, Grand is perfectly fine to roam. So that's just part of the communication we need to be looking at. So game specific. See Central's going in there. He's doing great. He's just looking for getting some vision, which he does. I don't think that camp was there but maybe I'm wrong I think you were looking to burrow but now you're denying the camp see this is really good and now there's second buffs coming up Central, you're doing a fucking great job tonight on, on this kind of stuff you see that there's camps back up too and you're just going to take it you did a really good job with the invading tonight now your buffs up as well Communication of where we're going is important. So good job of you guys uh, switching focus right away. That was excellent. So now this should be you guys shoving this wave together and then invading his red buff right now. I know he doesn't have a lot of mana. Uh, Grant doesn't, but you're more than healthy and the kindred's dead. This should absolutely be the play right now. Uh, or you could do dragon, I guess, too. Maybe that's what you guys end up doing. Remember, I didn't see this part of the game. Uh, except for in that fast forward, but you should be shoving this wave and then invading red. So just push the wave. Good job. It looks like what you're, what you're going to do. Okay, you're not. That's not what you're doing. So that's what your focus should have been at this point was because you just got vision of this. You know it's coming up. You guys should have these plates. Like I said, they're they're great and all, but you, there's easier ways to get leads if you deny him this much experience and you get an extra buff like it's going to be so much more beneficial for us right now you already denied these two camps so that automatically tells you that if you take this buff okay i'm actually going to use this fucking pen i have it sitting here the whole time if you take this buff he literally is going to come to this side of his jungle most likely um especially if he's not as experienced in um competitive fives he doesn't know these two are down yet so he may be thinking i'm gonna go here and check if it's gone i have these two camps so you're forcing him to come to a side that you know that is empty so you're wasting his time um grant is also going back um, so it's going to be so much wasted time for him and if he goes up to the top side of the map right now um Alex is strong enough. He may be able to one versus two. He can easily kill a level five kindred as well. So this is where the communication of basically really denying the enemy jungler comes into play. Why is my thing not working? Um, because you can really, really put him behind. If you deny this because you already denied the other two, he's going to come to this side and at least try to clear these two camps if he thinks his red's gone. But they're gone too because you already took care of them. So now his only option is this. And this is, Alex is incredibly strong right now. Like the, the Garen can't even come near it. 
So now it's it's easy. You guys know where he's going to path to. His options are extremely limited. He may be able to get this crab, depending on where you end up doing. But the plate was uh, not necessary. Your better play was because you killed him and you had priority. Uh, the, the echo couldn't help you out. Alex has um, more than enough priority on the Garen as well. That invading for that red buff would have been the play. We just saw Kindred top as well. They have good vision of us down there, so they know where you're at right now. Um, this is what I was meaning. The level 5 fucking Kindred wants to come there. Double kill for Alex. Perfect. So now this is easy conversation as well. Like you guys are going to, yeah, exactly. You're going to do Dragon because it's absolutely free. And then it immediately can turn into your... So you do dragon, you should immediately be either running topside or you should be recalling for literally three reasons right now. You should be, or four reasons. One, you're spending your gold. Two, there's a mark on that side. Blue buff's there. Herald's there. If they force onto you guys topside right now, you're going to fucking smash them. And on top of that, we'll throw a fifth one in there. We have teleport on our AD carry. So if worst case scenario, you could fucking TP up there. So this is great you're wanting to deny him there, but you should be recalling, especially with all this gold, and then these three fucking targets. 100%. It's the timing, like the, the timing of when we go back is incredibly uh, important. Especially, look, Grant is in base as well, so you have number disadvantage here big time. Also taking into consideration, we don't have TP top lane, so if Garen had TP, we'd be five versus three here. So your back timing just should have been a, a lot quicker because you could transition to the top side and take care of stuff, especially since you know the timing of these camps uh, since you're the one that cleared them. So if he ends up showing bottom like this, then you can literally go blue, mark, Harold camps like if you have enough time depending on what happens down there so and we have priority in the top lane easily with our three and one uh darius and uh we're up by 25 cs in the mid lane too like we have really big advantage here i want to say they cleared a ward or something here didn't they Did he run across a ward? I'm fairly certain. You have two wards up there. Yeah. Yeah, so we know he's on the side. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, so you guys know it. No kindreds on your side of the map. You guys should just be trying to... I, I, I was going to say hard shove and get out of there, but... I don't even know if you have time. Like, you do have time, the, the hard shove. So you could easily just shove that and then back up because you know he's on our side of the, the map. And look at your mini-map. Same thing we always talk about. Central's going to the other side. We don't have TP anywhere. We should be just being cautious here. This is easy herald for us too. Mystic kill on the thresh because he's crazy. What are you? Uh, what's your skill points right now? Okay, good. You did the three points like we talk about. Good job. Good job, you two. That was a. I think that was the right order too. Uh, central. Um, because you can, yeah, you can easily come back to your side of the map because you already have vision, so you can deny him a lot here. This is really good. 
So now we have really good vision of the river, some decent vision on the bottom side, our strongest point in the map. All three of the lanes are actually pretty strong right now. So you have the pick of the litter of what side you guys would want to focus, especially since we have Herald. But we always have to uh, remind ourselves of the TP disadvantage that our team has in this game. So we need to just be extra careful. We need Mystic to get his... Uh, Upgrade too, so we can start warden. Like this is the stuff you should be communicating to Alex. Any of you, anytime you get in a matchup like this where you're just dominating them, we don't ever want to talk about like if if you think someone's a bad player or whatever. You should just be talking about I can one verse two at this point, um, or just say my lane opponents. You can call their name out. Garen cannot stay in lane with me at this point, so I'm going to cause a lot of attention. Um, so you guys can play around that. You can either play to counter gank um, to help Alex out or just heavily stack another side and make a big play where you have the numbers advantage. It's just either either one's perfectly fine. Really good job. Again, working together there. I haven't been paying attention about the, the Hawk shots this game. I actually really do, I was telling Mystic, I actually like uh, Ash when we pick carry, really uh, like carry oriented, like jungler and one other lane, mid or top, because it just adds so much. You guys are really good there. You get all four of these, don't you? I think I remember you getting it when I watch it fast. Yeah, you got, you got four for zero there. Almost five? Damn, I almost got uh, an ace at 14. That's sick. So you guys obviously are really in control of this game too. Look, eight eight and a half K basically. So again, our focus should be right now there's a mark on the top side of the river. So Alex could be going to get that. Our blue buffs up, dragons up. So we need to talk about where we're going to be. You can actually communicate um Grant or Alex, one of you two or both could go get that mark since Central's on the bottom side. Central has a fuck ton. You all have a fuck ton of gold right now. So we should be wanting to reset because you don't want to... If you're doing Dragon and they force on you and you have literally 8,000 gold in your pocket, you have 8,500 gold in your pockets right now and we lose a fight, it's because we didn't reset in time um, before the fight. So... You guys all can be communicating right now and need to reset. I have a lot of gold. Um, Alex, you could just be shoving that wave, especially, um, I know you, you want to get this, but we need uh, we need everyone to reset. You could easily go do this instead and just back up uh, Grant while he shoves this and then gets ready to reset. Because we have Dragon. Look, we have 8,500 plus on, on the map right now. We're doing this. If they had any way of forcing on us, we could we could give a lot of gold back. We have four shutdowns right now as well. This is why it's even more important to spend your gold in a, an appropriate time. Um, the fact that these guys were in base and you know that they went back makes it better. Or uh, makes it okay that you... I was going to say, he's not going to go get his mark. Um, that you guys took the dragon still. You forced him back. That's perfectly fine. But I want that to just be fresh in your mind um, about communicating when you need to go back. And in that case, literally all five of you could have went back. So, good job. We're just easily transitioning all of our crowd control. Echo's behind you guys. Let's see what happens here. This is when you guys could also easily like send two people or or one other person to go over there with Alex right now too, um, since you killed two of them. Just like the macro, go deny their jungle. Yeah, like this. Good. Sorry, I did that too fast. Let's go back. But they have really good vision right now. If you actually look at the map, their whole bottom side is really, they have really good vision. So this is no sweeper on um, 
on either one of you, which is a mistake right now. Mystic and Central, 16 and a half minutes. We need we need both of you to have Sweeper by now. That's why their vision is so strong on the left and uh, our side of the river. Again, this is communication too. Like you guys could be um, just asking, asking about all uh, cooldowns right now while you're doing this. Turret's at half, okay. And again, like in this uh, instance, you got like Mystic did a good job doing his empowered uh, shield here, so we all got a big boost. Central could be the one grabbing the turret aggro first because he has his ultimate. Same thing with the Elise. So you guys could be communicating that, like I'm gonna take turret aggro first because I have this. And now we got the good good job by uh, Central knowing we were gonna push mid heavy and dropped. Um, the Herald bottom side to go with probably our strongest. One of our, you're all really strong, so it was a really good job. Good job rotating over here too, Alex. Once they started uh, sending that that ultimate. So again, the same thing. We could be resetting because we have like 6,500 in our pockets. It looked like. So resetting, we don't have to force to get that turret. It's really low, but we don't have to force. We can literally, their whole blue side jungle, you guys a great job with vision now. We know their blue buffs coming up. We just go take the blue, then go push. Um, like everything on the bottom side is coming up. Our red red buff, their blue buff, that turret's low. This is good. You guys it look like you're moving over there. Taking care of wave management. Central's a beast. He just entered though. Little little bit of cockiness there. Their blue buffs up. We should be taking their blue buff. There you go. Grant's taking it. So, like we talked about before, you want to be parallel, balanced with each other. Central should not have done that. Luckily, you guys have a massive lead, so it's um, they still are going to have a hard time coming in five versus four and fighting us because of how strong. Alex is on our front line, so we're denying two two camps so far, maybe even a third. That was interesting. Look how strong he is. So yeah, he literally is a monster. One verse three there, and you guys get Baron off of that for free. Good job rotating over there. Yep, top. Deny. Good job. Remember, the same thing. We talk about being balanced. Right now, they can engage on you. It's five versus four. We do not have TP. So now we're balanced again. So now this is easy because now they have to send someone over to him and the supers mid lane. So you can literally just chill out and let uh, Alex do his thing and the supers. This is all free. Central going ham again here. Another int from Central. Good alt, Grant. Remember, call out focus. I love karma shields. So, yeah. You guys did a phenomenal job tonight. Um, all three games. There's obviously the common theme of the games was our communication. Um, uh, talking about teleports as well as advancing our vision. You guys did a better job this game with uh, the vision uh, control. Just remember the sides that we are the strongest is where it's easiest for us to advance our vision and then it makes half of the game easier or, or half of the map easier because we can really press our advantage with our strongest guys because we have all the vision in the world. Um, and if they force with, say, this game, because Alex was so strong, he could 
one verse two for a while, then end up being able to one verse three. Then when they overload one side, you guys take the Baron like you did. So that's where vision is unbelievably important. Um, you guys are starting to get better at it too, but there's just certain parts. I just want you guys to always remember just to slow down and and don't try to force stuff that we don't need to. Especially if games are end up being closer. Because if they're closer games, you guys make one mistake, then they can either slow down and scale, or they can take advantage of that and push for um, objectives for free when we make mistakes that we shouldn't even be thinking about. So, um, Really good job overall tonight. Thank you, Toxic and Dubs, for subbing in. Really good job, uh, all seven or all six of you. My math is terrible. Um, uh, all three games. Um, we really need to, as a group, talk about TPs more, Alex and Grant, especially since it's in your lane the most. Um, setting up plays for um, aggressive or counter TP plays. Um, you guys did a phenomenal job tonight. We're going to continue to grow on making turret dives. Um, Central, you are a big part of, of that. We need to uh, um, advance our thinking for that as well and just communicate about I'm going to take um, turret aggro. I have turret aggro. I'm, I'm leaving turret aggro as the the parts going on so the the people who are part of that are aware so we're not blowing summoners for no reason or we know that it's going to switch so we may need to bail out on it or just switch up how we're going to continue with the dive um yeah need to always rem remember talking about herald at 10 minutes it doesn't mean we're going to do the herald at 10 minutes it's basically a state of the game conversation where we're looking to see if we can move mystic up there to do herald with central and the top side of the map so you guys did a great job tonight um we're going to continue uh, improving and we just officially got accepted into the uh, UML right now as well, which is great. So now the next one is we're just going to be waiting for um, Darkstar to announce their next season so we can um, apply for that, get entered into that, and then we're going to start moving with our goals. So really good job tonight, guys.